Hi guys, Thierry here. Well, today I'd like to talk about skipping strings. Uh, I think it's a very efficient technique. And I'm, uh, I'm practicing that about for a year ago. And uh, uh, the first thing is, I think the easiest thing to do is to start with a major scale, or it could be a minor scale as well. The, the thing is, to start with, I think it's better to start with to make um, a, a scale with three notes per string. So we got to break and change positions. And it's instead of, let's take the key, uh, the scale of A major. If I, I can go like the fourth position. <laughs> Well, we can skip we can skip strings with any kind of scale position. The thing is, it'll be easier to start with. Let's let's build the the, the A major scale with three note pair strings. So we're gonna go like. And it's going to be much easier to start with because um, we're going to go like a first exercise will be up. Oh, I skip the A strings. I, I go to the, the D strings, then back to the A strings, uh, then the G strings, then I go back to the D string, then B string back the G string and the E string, E treble string and same back and forth So that's a very good thing. It, it'll work better, I think, for jazz improvisation, but it can work I, if you've seen my last video, which is called Pop Blues Pop or something like that. I use some uh, in a straight blues and rock context, I use the, the skipping note techniques as well. So it's really, really good. It could give you a lot of new ideas and, and uh, it's a bit of a challenge as well because when you don't have the use of skipping strings, you have to practice to be to feel comfortable with that. Okay.